I want to tell you just a little bit about the content and process and what you can expect in this class. You'll find out the most by going in and experimenting with what's, uh, what's in front of you and what's provided to you, but I uh, wanted to give you a little heads up before we started. First of all, a little bit about the course content. Course content includes theory and issues and people and about the profession of educational technology and what that means. It's a deep class. It's very wide, but it's also potentially very deep. And you're a participant in deciding how deep you go into any parts of it. That's a little bit tricky. What I've tried to do is in this course, given, given the pressures that are put on all of us uh, with the time this summer, is to um, give you the launching points for each of these things and then some ways to explore each of the topics we'll deal with. And then I'm hoping what you will do is take those and go deeper in some areas and leave some of them shallow for yourselves. That's, uh, that's a normal decision-making process you'll, you'll need to go through in the course. In order to deal with this course, and I think in the time pressures that we'll all face this summer, the first thing I'd ask of you to give to me would be patience. It's going to take a little bit of patience with things. There will be an intensity around things. But at the same time, if you can go through this and provide, uh, be patient with me, I will certainly be patient with you as you go through things and as you kind of work your way through uh, uh, the content of the course. Dealing with readings. Um, that's, the process we include will include, um, just a quick overview, readings, what I'm calling backyard homilies, um, online discussions, weekly online discussions, and then real-time events. We will do some things in real time. So, the readings. I'll assign particular readings to you each week. These, there will be required readings, but then in most cases you're going to see that there are quite a number of, of uh, optional readings. These are things that you may go to now if you're really um, uh, interested in, in an area, or you may save them for later. This is a course that does not end, ever. You take it for six weeks in the summer, but then uh, afterwards, I hope this is a course you'll keep returning to. I will leave the website live. You'll be able to get to those resources and other resources that you generate for quite a period to come. I won't promise forever. I don't know. But, uh, but it will be for a period of, of months or years, not a period of weeks, that the uh, material will be available to you. Um, as you read, there's a particular approach I would take. I would start by scanning. You'll have a lot of reading material each week. I try to compress that to the beginning of the week so that then you have some time to think later in the week about what you've read. So at the beginning of the week, I would pick up, let's say, a chapter or an article, and I would just scan it. I would scan it by looking at the topics. I'd look at the topics and the subtopics and maybe read the first couple of sentences of each, of each paragraph. But I wouldn't go beyond that because what I want you to do is get a sense of the reading. What's it talking about? What's the shape of it? How, how, um, how detailed does it become? How difficult is it going to be to grapple with? Then come back to it. After you've had a scan, a scan of it, leave it alone for a little while, and then come back to it, and then do the reading clean through. I think you'll find that that kind of an approach, followed up by some reflection on it, is going to be a really, I think, productive approach to do, dealing with the readings in the class. Now the backyard homilies, Jay's here with me right now. He's just on the other side. See, there's Jay. Uh, Jay and I uh, actually sat in my backyard uh, and, and videotaped, when my, your backyard most of the time, um, videotaped um, what we call backyard homilies. They're really just lectures, okay? What I tried to do is take each of these topics and hit the key points for you. Now, they aren't... We, we, try, we tried not to duplicate what's in the readings, but in many cases we'll highlight from the readings and provide a little more detail. Tried to keep them as brief as possible, although you'll laugh when you see them. Sometimes they aren't as brief as I wish. <laughs> They'll go anywhere from, oh, I think the shortest one is about 15 minutes to an hour. Okay, um, so 
uh, check them out when you first pull them up and see how long they are. If, if I have time before I get to uh, uh, actually launching the website, I'll go through and measure each of them and put up a little time warning on each one for you. But, uh, but plan on spending time with those homilies at the beginning of each week of the six weeks of the topics. Um, do them kind of in combination with the readings. Think of that as the heavy content portion of your week. And then, later in the week, then, we will begin and continue with online asynchronous discussions. You'll go to a discussion board. I'll provide a topic for you. Um, maybe a, another small reading or um, um, a little activity to do, but mostly around thinking and tying into some of the things that we're talking in, extending or talking about in the class, um, extending those ideas and giving you a chance to unpack some of the ideas uh, and, and, and really think about them and think about them publicly and then comment on each other's work. You've done discussion boards before, you know what I'm talking about. Then I'm hoping, I'm hoping almost weekly, but I won't guarantee a cadence just yet. Um, but I'm hoping about weekly anyway, we're going to have a real-time event. Now that may be just a chance for us to get together in a video conference, in an Illuminate session, and talk about how things are going with the content, answer any questions you have. But it might also then be a chance for us to pull some people in the field together. I might uh, get a hold of somebody, a, a friend or colleague somewhere else, and say, would you come online with us for 15 minutes? Tell us about what you're up to. Just so you can meet a few of the people in the, uh, in the profession. That's actually easier to do over uh, the course of a year if we offer this as a full course. Uh, in a six-week period, we aren't going to be able to do as much of that as I would like, so uh, I'll probably trim it even more. But I'll, I'll pick a couple of key people I'd like to introduce you to, and we'll, uh, we'll do that. So those will be real-time events. I'll probably schedule them. I'm thinking now uh, on an early Thursday evening, say 6 o'clock, 6.30, and we'll get together for a brief amount of time online half an hour, maybe an hour, depending on your needs, uh, and we'll see how that goes. Now the real home for you is going to be the website. Now immediately we have this housed in a Blackboard site. Um, so you'll go into the Blackboard uh, uh, zone and that, that will take you to the discussion boards and all that kind of thing, but then there's a click to the content of the course. Now that's actually an external link. I share this stuff publicly. I want the world to be able to get at this and use it if they want it. So um, it will link you through to a public website where we contain um, uh, the content of the course. Uh, you can go there. That's where you'll get the lectures, uh, introductions, that you have access to the readings. All of that stuff is assembled right there for you. Okay. And that's kind of your holy grail. Go to that place and stick around it. You know. Uh, most of the time. So, our online events then, just as a quick review, will include an asynchronous discussion every week, a discussion, uh, you know, a discussion board topic, um, probably a weekly synchronous event. Um, now, I didn't mention we will also have a wiki. There's a place where um, uh, we'll house extra information, some summaries, extra resources we get in a wiki so that you can contribute to it too. And I'll direct you to that uh, uh, in a different way. When we get together, I'll take you to that place. Also, as one of the discussions, one of the features of the discussions we have is that you will be um, in triads, in groups of three. I'll be assigning you as moderators for a weekly discussion. So the three of you will get together, you'll talk to each other, you'll decide, here, I'll do this, I'll do that. And, and so some of you will be uh, managing the online conversation as it happens during the week. Maybe one of you will volunteer to uh, summarize the discussion that week. But the overall cadence will be your group will be responsible for animating the discussion and then summarizing the discussion in a public place for the group. You'll do that once during, uh, during the course. I will also hold virtual office hours uh, and I'll post those on the website. But uh, usually in, with Skype, you know, I'll have uh, my Skype name is Schweer. Uh, find me there, uh, and I'll I'll post the time and place uh, or the time anyway where I'll appear on Skype, 
and you can reach me during uh, during those hours. So with patience and with good humor and with a lot of energy I hope you'll bring to it. I'm really looking forward to this summer and I hope you are too and uh, I know we'll get to get to know each other rather well and I hope you get to know each other rather well. That's one of the hidden pieces of this is I hope that even in the short time we have here you'll get to know each other exceptionally well in ways that you probably haven't gotten to know other people. The online environment that we've created is a pretty rich environment for doing that. And so make friends. Get, get to know each other. Become colleagues. Uh, you'll be spending a lot of time with each other in the program. And uh, now's a good time to get to know who your friends can be. So uh, we'll see you on the other side.